Your IPS sensors are critical to your network security, but how do you create a sensor that will not only block the connection, but will drop it, that is not sending any TCP flags that will allow the attacker to know that there is someone out there? And how do you configure the IPS sensor not only to drop the connection, but also to quarantine the attacker? We can do all that using our command line. Let's see how. Our command line will let us configure our IPS sensor with more advanced features. Let's just do it right now. Let's start with the config IPS sensor. Let's name it, um, let's name it high. That is only high severity uh, signatures. And now let's configure the different entries. And let's enter the first one with the uh, severity level. That's the aim of our sensor. And let's make it only to high severity signatures. All right, now let's uh, move to the second entry. And let's just let me name it. All right, now let's uh, set it to enable. And now let's set several things that are crucial to your sensor. The first one is the action. Now the action can be either pass, block, reset, or default. That is the default behavior of that signature. We will set it to block. When we set it to reset, your FortiGate actually sends back a TCP reset and lets everyone know that there is something out there. When we set it to block, it just drops the connection and doesn't send anything back. So a best practice is to set the action to block. Now, the other thing is to set the quarantine. You can set it to block the connection and quarantine the attacker. So you can set quarantine attacker and you can set the different quarantine expiration time and duration and so on. So let's leave it at the default uh, expiration, which is five minutes. And let's just end it. And let's see, let's see how it looks in our uh, IPS sensors page. Let's refresh the page. And we can see that we have a new sensor here uh, with high severity level that also uh, blocks the connection. That is the default action and quarantines the attacker for five minutes. Now let's make our IPS sensor uh, more descriptive. So let's use the uh, config IPS sensor. Let's edit the um, sensor that we have just created. Now let's set the comment to block with no TCP reset so that everyone that looks at the IPS sensor knows that it doesn't only deal with high severity signatures, but it also blocks the connections without sending the TCP reset flag. All right, that's it. Now let's refresh the page itself and we can see that we have a comment which is the block with no TCP reset.